Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Stronghold and Chill. This week we've got Mr. Stephen Richards from upstairs, one of our game designers here at Firefly Studios. And we're going to be talking about uh, the main game which Stephen worked on, Crusader 2, while playing through uh, some of the learning campaign. Just to give you guys the inside scoop on some of the frills and perhaps spills of working at Firefly Studios. Uh, without further ado, Stephen, are you ready? Yep. Let's get to it. So, as I said, we are playing the ambush mission from mm. the Richard Lionheart campaign. Uh, this was Stephen's recommendation, so I apologise yep. if I crash and burn. <laughs> um, oh, I think I designed it, so I'm kind of <laughs> responsible. Uh, you, you can coach me, Stephen. You can coach me. It's, it's been a while since I played it, actually, so yeah, exactly. I may have also forgotten it. It seems to be a common occurrence for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, been there. Yeah, but I did play it many times grand, um, grand. at the time, so well, I should. I'm sure it'll come back quickly. Indeed. So, mm. as you can see, this is our castle here. Um, to give you a quick setup, we'll mm. pause it quickly just so uh, we can have a look around the map. Um, so, it's my understanding that uh, Saladin is sending waves of attacks mm. to our yes. lovely little abode here. Um, and it's my duty to protect and serve the population of this uh, castle here. Um, so, while I am. Um, sort of uh, showing off my poor stronghold economic <laughs> skills. Uh, um, we're going we're gonna to run through some questions, as I said in the introduction, yep. to get to know Stephen and the work he does here. So, to begin, Stephen, could you mm -hmm. give our lovely audience a rundown mm -hmm. of what you do here at Firefly Studios, what sort of your mm -hmm. job title even means here? <laughs> uh, so, I'm Stephen. I'm a designer at Firefly Studios. Um, but I actually work on a lot of different things and I also do a lot of programming these days. Mm -hmm. uh, I came onto Firefly as a designer, um, but working for a small company means you do have a lot of flexibility in how you want yeah. to kind of take your work. Um, and I was quite interested in programming. I kind of, I, you know, I was talking to programmers a lot and I could see what they were doing and I found it really interesting. So uh, what I do these days actually has a lot of variety to it. Mm -hmm. um, it seems so to be a common occurrence at Firefly. Yes. <laughs> we all do People take a on of, a lot of roles. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, That's one of the beauties of the independent uh, game market, um, I feel. Yeah, but I suppose kind of the more classic style of design work would be something like making this kind of mission where you have to you know, use the level editor to build yeah. the map, then you put down all of the castles. So, and, Yes, to, get, to give a specific example to the audience. Mm -hmm. um, so this was a map you specifically designed? Uh, the mission itself? Or? Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I think I did it with Simon. So I think we kind of are our, our, our chief designer here. Yeah. I think he made the original map. And then I did a lot of work on kind of adding the castle onto the top, adding in the invasions, so, you know, with the yeah. side and attacks, and trying to make the mission kind of play well. Um, and kind of feel good and, and you know have the invasions come at the right time and make sure Absolutely. that the, um, uh, they don't come you know straight away before you know people have got any idea what they're doing yeah, yeah exactly to, to get the audience instead of stephen richards what's mm -hmm. your favorite game of all time ah uh, it's just a really difficult one i think certainly like the first game that really gripped me when i was young was age of empires 2 uh, um, and makes that's, sense. Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense it makes sense I, that, that was before you know, I you know, heard of Stronghold or anything, and I just remember yeah. seeing it at a friend's house and just seeing what you could do, and you know, he, I think he'd taken some like, of the peasants and like, taken them out, and they'd gone hunting, and they all took down an elephant together, I just thought, like, yeah. wow, you can do that uh, in a video game. So um, strategy was sort of an early yeah. calling for you. Yeah, just uh, the idea of being able to control all of these little people. Absolutely. You know, That's great. Um, you know, before you get to any kind of, you know, competitive scene or thinking about yeah. you know, actions for a minute and so on. A certain Ooh, level then. Oh yeah, so th the attacks are coming in now. Um, okay. They should, the first one oh. should be fairly easy to kind of just fend off with the troops. Well, they, look, yeah, they look like they're coming up the left um, here. But yeah, I was definitely into strategy mm -hmm. uh, as a kid and then I remember seeing uh, Stronghold for the first time also at a friend's house oh, and nice. thinking like, Hmm, this is kind of different. Look at all those walls and towers. Yeah, and like, yeah, yeah. This has got something to it that I haven't seen before. Absolutely. It's um, pretty crazy to think that back then, you're seeing the Stronghold for the first time, and now you're actually mm. working on the... Uh, was that like a big moment for you? Or is to, to say you're like, was Crusader mm. to your first yeah. like officially game designing on a Stronghold game? Yeah, absolutely. So was that, was that pretty crazy for you, I imagine? 
like actually being like holy shit i'm working was, on this game which i played <laughs> way back when yeah it was it was just, i think i think it's just something you don't think about after a while like you kind of yeah it's, it's, you, if, if you did think about you know you're gonna put the, you know you've been working push. for years on this game and then you know hundreds of thousands of people might be playing it you kind of think oh yeah that's yeah, the yeah. that's the point at which it, you know you might start to feel a bit of pressure so i find that just like not thinking about it just concentrating on making the as good a game as you can Absolutely. is a better approach and then yeah you go a bit insane otherwise yeah so we're just waiting for some more attacks so mm -hmm. while we do that let's get talking about um sort of young steven sort of mm -hmm. when was the sort of was it was it when you were playing age of empires and stronghold and you know were it made by these strategy games that you wanted to become a developer or like a game developer in general or when was mm -hmm. that calling sort of realized to you um i think it was around university and i was um I was. And you sort of had to <laughs> choose something. I was, yeah, I mean, I was looking more into like how to make games, and I'd been playing around with Game Maker for a while. So I did a few like kind mm -hmm. of personal projects while at university, just yeah. kind of small little mini games. Um, uh -oh. This kind of it feels like, you know, if you were doing the same thing today, you'd be able to make something in it much better in Unity if you were a student because I think, yeah, absolutely. You, know, you know I mean I'm not that old but like, yeah. <laughs> like I kind of feel like even in like the short amount of time since then if you're starting out with Unity now uh -huh. as a student um, you could do so much more um, absolutely like I was doing kind of pretty simple 2D games um, mm -hmm. and just trying to kind of get them to work without really having ever learned how to code properly yeah um, Okay, so let's move on um, to one of my favourite questions from Stronghold and Chill. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your single most happiest memory at Firefly Studios? Mm -hmm. There's been quite a few actually. I really enjoyed um, um, <laughs> making the uh, <laughs> really enjoyed making the AI for this game actually, in particular oh, okay. like designing the AI castles. Yeah, because um, that was quite fun. Normally, you know, you're just kind of scrambling together to build a castle and. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're playing a skirmish game and a lot of the time people make very kind of efficient castles you know where they're building out just the amount of yeah. stone they need and they're kind of walling off at choke points and so on whereas for Absolutely. ai you can um be a bit more creative and give them nice patterns and things um, and they each kind of have their own distinctive style so when you see yeah. a castle you instantly know which character it is um ah cool uh, so, so did you have a part in designing the character-specific castles then? Mm -hmm. to sort yeah, of? I designed all of them actually. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, wow. So um, we have a special tool that we use to design uh, castles so yeah. that AI kind of decides what it's going to build in advance. Um, okay. And then it kind of slowly fills it up as you play. Oh, wow, that's grand. But to counteract that happy mm. callback for you, what's mm. your worst memory of Firefly um, just to get real. <laughs> just to get real yeah I mean, we, we have to we have to we throw, I said frills and spills so yeah well I guess there was a moment there was a time we went to um, Eurogamer Expo which mm -hmm. I know should be a good memory and I think it was actually <laughs> yeah. for the most part a good memory sorry if you're from Eurogamer <laughs> and you're watching this uh, but I think it was like on the second day or something I just got really ill and I had to stop and oh, I couldn't I, see, I couldn't I um Kind of be at the uh, at the um, uh, at the at the screens for the rest of it, which oh, is a shame sucks. because it was actually really nice seeing people play the game because they um, yeah. you get that reaction that you don't see normally and you mm. just kind of. Well, I feel yeah, I feel that's been mm. from everyone else I've interviewed at Firefly about uh, sort of their happiest memories. Mm -hmm. uh, it's sort of been usually at expositions um, where mm, they've yeah. seen people play their sort of thing they've been working on for years and stuff like that. This seems to be a very fruitful occurrence. Could you tell us a little the specific story about how you ended up at Firefly Studios mm -hmm. and how somebody who wanted to get sort of into your position, mm -hmm. how they would get there or if you had any advice for them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I uh, first came to Firefly uh, for an internship in my second year university. Mm -hmm. um, so I just kind of applied for that completely speculatively, um, yeah. which is a really good idea for small companies, I think. Yeah, bigger absolutely. ones are more likely to have like proper schemes and so on but if it's a small company a lot of the time they will just be very happy to take people but they won't necessarily advertise it um so yeah that was good i had um like a few months over the summer while i was still studying to kind of get that experience in and get um like meet some people in the industry 
Mm -hmm. um, and then I actually came back for a second internship after graduating for a few months. Oh, okay. Um, and then, well, you had two internships. Yeah, yeah I, I oh, took wow. two internships. So, I don't know um, that very well. <laughs> um, no wonder they gave you a job. You yeah, and then, and then eventually I got, managed to get an actual job out of it, which is, uh, um, yeah, which is really good. Is, uh, um, that meant that I could, you know, work on the rest of Crusader 2 and do lots of work for it. Um, uh, okay, um, cool. So what, what was the time frame of that? Was that before Crusader 2 was in development or...? That was... Oh, trying to come back now. It was... Uh, um, I think it was sort of in the early to mid stages of it. I think at the time it was yeah, planned yeah, to yeah. be kind of late stages, but, uh, you know, as they always are, um, it turned out to be, you know, there was quite a lot of work still to do on the game. Oh, ah, okay, cool. cool. Um, What's your favourite musician of all time? Oh. I can I can remember the first um, album there. The, album, the first album I remember buying was um, uh, by Keen, the, their second album, Under the Iron Sea, which okay. I, yeah, I think yeah, I yeah. solidly listened to for about two years. Keen, <laughs> and I just didn't yeah, need I to buy... To Keen and Ace, I uh, yeah. <laughs> didn't need to listen to anyone else <laughs> for a good <laughs> couple of years. So we're getting with Keen now. Very, uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, man. That I mean, I, have, I think I had other, like... Uh, like kind of musical interests when I was younger that I may I'm not sure I wouldn't want to admit uh, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, like, yeah, don't I think I don't know I think these days like, I just listen to what Spotify tells me to I'm quite lazy with music oh yeah yeah Spotify's grand, yeah. I kind of I find there's a lot of like different musicians that will pop up that I quite like yeah absolutely but, um, just that recommended and browse feature is just it's top. pretty good yeah, um, it's amazing heading back to Firefly um, I've asked every single dev I've interviewed about this um but could you name your, maybe, maybe excluding Crusader 2 as you worked on it, but <laughs> yeah. your favourite Firefly title of all time? Mm. Yeah, it's a tricky one. I think, I, I remember really, uh, I remember getting really excited about Stronghold 2 actually, um, oh, yeah, when yeah, it yeah. came out. Because um, I remember like the scene that it was in 3D and it had all of these yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Ex like new things in it, all these new units, you know, just seeing the castles in 3D. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's really um, like impressive. Could you run us through a typical day for a game designer? Mm -hmm. Sort of your 9 a.m. to, oh, in Firefly's case, 10 a.m. to 6 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I, my days are mixed quite a lot. So I'm kind of either programming or I'm designing a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, if I'm designing, a lot of it will be level design. Um, so that's either building levels, um, for you know either a stronghold game or metamorph yeah. and um, testing them out which um, is quite time consuming because you end up making it and then something doesn't work or it's not balanced quite right and then you test yeah. it a dozen times and then eventually kind of think this is working well or no it's not working I need to try something else okay um, uh, trial and error then yeah definitely um, but it also helps to try and kind of think through the levels in advance a bit more sometimes and kind of create a plan mm -hmm. rather than going straight into it just think what kind of level am I trying to make here what is the challenge mm -hmm. um, I mean it varies a lot depending on what kind of game it is because Metamorph for example is much smaller levels than a game like this yeah um, so the levels tend to be more based around like trying to create a specific challenge um, the player will have to do something to overcome. So is that rather challenging then? Obviously going from Metamorph, which is sort of a dungeon crawler action strategy mm -hmm. title, mm -hmm. then moving over to an RTS castle builder. Mm -hmm. Is that sort of, I imagine that's kind of like if you're working on a film, going from like a drama to a comedy, back to a drama to a mm -hmm. comedy. Is this sort of the same vibe or is mm -hmm. it just challenging to sort of get out of that mentality or how does that work? I and mean, it was only a couple of years ago that I was working on Crusader 2, because um, mm -hmm. I spent a while after um, it came out working on the DLCs, so creating the other characters and the missions for those. Yeah. Um, so I kind of feel like it's not quite faded that much yet, yeah. thankfully. Um, but I mean, I've definitely spent um, a bit of time kind of orienting for Stronghold yeah, yeah, next. Yeah, for sure. For uh, everyone, every, I feel every gamer loves to know this about another gamer. And mm -hmm. um, what's your highest number of hours played? in any game ever and it doesn't have to be recorded sort of if you if you can just a lot of people have just been like oh before steam i played you know the first ever counter-strike yeah. for ages so um, like if you had to imagine 
I think I must have. Yeah. yeah, I think I must have clocked quite a few hundred hours in Battle for Middle Earth, actually. Um, oh, do you remember okay. the kind of Lord of the Rings RTS? Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, I played um, it. I played it. Yeah, I, yeah. I think I just got weirdly addicted to it because yeah, of like the combined RTS with Lord of the Rings. Yeah, exactly. Lore yeah. about it. It was also a very um, good game. <laughs> let's just finish with, what are you doing after this interview? Uh, so at the moment I'm doing a couple of different things. I'm doing a bit of work on Metamorph. Mm -hmm. I'm also doing some work on Stronghold Next, which mm -hmm. I shouldn't say anymore. Yeah, about. we go, we got. We have to wait for yeah. that gameplay reveal. <laughs> we got <a> no <laughs> details here. We got to stay quiet on that. Exactly. Um, so more designing particular castles, perhaps that sort of thing. Uh, uh, well, yes and no. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> So I'm probing. I, I think that's you, what you can probe. Can. <laughs> can probe. Hey everyone, sorry about the weird cut. It turns out the camera crapped out on us before we could do the outro. So I've stayed down here to re-record one. Um, Stevens went back upstairs to work on Stronghold next. So we'll just end with this. If you did like the video, make sure you leave a like as always and subscribe here on YouTube for more episodes of Stronghold and Chill. If you do have any requests for future game developers here at Firefly Studios, I bring down here to talk to you while playing some Stronghold. Uh, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. And as always, we'll see you next week for another Firefly Studios video. See you then.